Derek Sharper. That is Ian Andrews right there. Right there. Zoom in. Man. What's up, Ian? <laughs> Actually, you, you have to zoom in. That's yeah. called ghetto zoom. When you get closer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought ghetto zoom was moving the camera in. No, it's when you... No, that, that would be... That that's, would be that's, zoom. I don't even know what that would be. That's, that's like, like first really level ghetto zoom. Oh, okay. And then like you getting closer to the screen is second level ghetto yeah. zoom. Yeah. yeah. That's third world zoom. It's <laughs> Craig Ferguson style zoom. <laughs> All right, so yeah. we're going to be doing a review of, now this might be confusing because it, it's got all kinds of words on here, like original dark and everything, but that's, that's crazy. actually that, pineapple. That's actually part of it, though. It, it is, but I, I think this is like a reuse or something. Yeah. Because it says original dark on the back and all that. Tales of the Cocktail. So they just stuck this on here. Oh, is that, what? Oh, Tales of the Cocktail. Oh. So the interesting thing about this I was just reading, obviously, because... What are you yeah, reading? So I do. The way they make this is they take their Plantation 3 Star and infuse it with pineapple and put it in the pot stills. Then they take their Plantation Original Dark and infuse it with the pineapple for three months. And then they mix them together. And then they let that rest for three months in a barrel. And that water. And, and this is the product, basically. Now, this, did, I don't know if you had mentioned the way the pineapple is done. but With in, the rinds? Yeah, you use the rind instead of the, the pineapple flesh. Um, and I believe he, um, what's his name now? The uh, dude. Yeah. The guy. It's Pierre Ferrand. Pierre Ferrand's rep there, uh, uh, the owner, the master blender. Damn it. There's a review. Yeah, I know his name. Uh, really cool French guy. Yeah. Yeah. We see him every year there. <coughs> well, I say every year, at least the last two. Yes. Every uh, year twice. Yes. And <laughs> every year twice. So I have a video. It's an a short. Um. Name in his name. I don't remember. No, that's that's the last name. Cove guy. Martin Kate. No. no. Um, he was on a panel with Martin Kate from Pirates Cove. Mm -hmm. uh, Jeff Barry. Uh, oh, the dude that really talks and mumbles a lot and talks forever. The historian there. Oh, uh, yeah. uh, Woodridge. Yeah, David yeah. Woodridge. Um, Woodridge. And I think that was all. And then uh, the master blender. So. He did a, we did a whole breakdown of this and he explained how, you know, they were, this was actually inspired by, um, Wondrich. Okay. And Wondrich, and I think Martin Cade, I know Wondrich was mainly involved saying, why, I think this would be a cool experiment it, to be able to cool. build that. It's tasty. And he went off and he said, fine. <laughs> <laughs> I think they were kind of talking to it after and an after party or whatever, because they all kind of hang out because they're cooler than we are. And, uh. Not the name. Oh, right. You're not on the camera, so we're not talking about you right now. Right. <laughs> They're cooler than me and Derek, though, that's for sure. Yeah. And the, the the trick behind it is that it's not... Not cooler than Jen, <laughs> right. just so you know, people. Right. Not cooler than Jennifer. Um, this is not like a, uh, a Crucian or a Malibu-style pineapple rum. No. Which is pineapple, sweet pineapple flavor in, stuffed in a jar of rum, of, of whatever their distillate is, probably their white rum. Yeah, this is quality. This is built as part of the whole process, and it doesn't use sweeteners and sugars. I mean, I'm sure there's sugars in here because if you look, absolutely, yeah. Uh, but the rum shines. I mean, it, it doesn't it doesn't overpower the pineapple flavor. Isn't overpowering the rum. It's mm. complementing the rum. Mm. Mm. Now, um, one of the things that Antonia had mentioned to me, and I, we should probably do a video on this because I think it would be kind of eye opening and cool, mm. is Alexander a, Gabriel. Alexander, that's it. Or is it uh, it's not Alexander, though. So I'll, I thought it was Alexandre, Alexandra or something. Yeah. Like, not... Alex Gabriel. Yeah, let's go with Alex. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Gabriel. Mr. Gabriel. Um, is he the, deserves a mister. Yeah. He's, he's very proud. Ma Master's Dillery. Pay. Yeah. Um, is the amount of sugar that's actually added to rum. Mm -hmm. And in most cases, uh, Plantation is one of the highers, like 42 grams per whatever bottle liter or whatever it is liter, yeah. Usually um, grams per liter is it's, I don't know if that's and it's right. not really that much when you break it down and I think it was either Morgenthal or or somebody who who put that much in water mm -hmm. and the water has a little bit of sweet tint to it but it's not like a sugar water right because it's, not like it's 42 grams in a you know in a liter of water not that much no. uh, but it does sweeten it up and what that does is it, it, it rounds it out and you know gives you a gives you the the desire to, to drink more and make it feel mm. more full body. That's tasty stuff, man. Mm -hmm. The planta the whole plantation line is really great. It is great. Yeah. The that's like definitely like one of the best rum lines out there that yeah I know of anyway off the top yeah. of my head. And this needs to have a tiki cocktail built after it because what it does mm -hmm. is it doesn't get, it, it's a rich sweet. 
not sweet. That's a, you can't say this is a sweet rum. No. But rums are tend to be sweeter. But it has that pineapple flavor. And yeah, it has without a richer... the sweetness of like pineapple juice or pineapple rum. Right. It doesn't taste like. What's the alcohol percentage on this? Do we know? I don't know if that's accurate. Like... No, I think it's still forty or something around. Is here. it still forty? Okay. Uh, it doesn't say here, but it's no. probably close to forty or what thirty-five at most. Let's is that one right there? Here. There's another one right there oh, under there. It is. Yeah. Let me look at uh, here first. But it has a a dark, rich pineapple essence. Like you get the pineapple flavor, but. It doesn't dominate the drink, so this doesn't necessarily, to me, it doesn't taste like a pineapple, a traditional pineapple rum, which is uh, a really great way of carrying pineapple flavor into a drink. This will not substitute for any other pineapple out there, which means if you're building a drink, if you want to focus around the pineapple nature of this, it's going to be a delicate drink. It's probably going to be more of a, a martini or yeah. spirit forward drink. Forty. Yeah. Um, is it forty? Yep. So. It could probably complement a tiki, as long as the tiki Very isn't well. already got a lot of pineapple juice in it. Yeah. I think that would, it's yeah, over it you're, you're basically using what is a brand new product from plantations and you're hiding it in pineapple. It's it's like... You want a product where this is going to, you want a drink where this is going to come out. You right, know, you like need to that. get those little it, subtle pineapple notes yeah. somehow. It's not, it's subtle, more subtle than a normal pineapple rum, but it's not subtle. You right. taste it, you know... Uh, I think... Yeah. Maybe if you wanted to create a very subtle pineapple flavor in a, in a daiquiri. Well, you get like those molasses now. Ooh, daiquiri. daiquiri. Right, like a, a real, not not like a frozen daiquiri. If you're new to the channel, then I, I apologize for using the word daiquiri in general. But if you've watched <laughs> classic our classic daiquiri. daiquiris that are more of a, you know, spirit. Rum, simple rum, syrup, and lime. Right, juice. right. The three, the, the, the triforce of, of perfection. Mm. You're going to, in, in a coupe glass, right, a small drink. This might lend a, a completely different dynamic to that. Totally, yeah. But it's not going to be. It's not going to be like adding pineapple midori or pineapple. Midori. Speaking of deconstruction, Crusion? What deconstructing pineapples? Daiquiri deconstruction. Daiquiri deconstruction, adding different flavors to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Actually, yeah. yeah. Because yeah. that would be good because we did a couple a different daiquiris. Daiquiri with um, pigeon. Pink, pink, pigeon. Pigeon, pink pigeon, which I really like. Yeah, not Didn't so not much. Oh, I'll be good. No, yeah. Yeah. I mean we have so many choices. We can use the yeah. Atlanta Club. Yeah, we can discuss we this offline. <laughs> uh, this is a offline is appropriate for this conversation. Jen, you're supposed to keep us on track. <laughs> there is definitely a, there's a little sweet uh, pineapple aroma to it as well. Totally. Yeah. Um, but again, it it reminds me if you if but it's still got that. Is it think molasses of like, or is it yes, sugar cane? I was going to say molasses, but yeah. it's probably a sugar cane like or something. It's, it's like a dark... Uh, like, yeah, it's like a... Um, no. <laughs> molasses, treacle? Yeah. Kind of smell to it? I, I like that word, treacle. <laughs> <laughs> I think it, it would be closer to um, a molasses or a brown sugar or, or something in that way, but not, not like blackstrap. No, no, not no. Not that no. thick of a, a molasses. No, no, no. Um, but it's just, it's just got that demerara that... Yeah. That deep, rich, right, sugary cane taste. Which it. is, I mean, if you take an overripe pineapple and you strip away all the actual pineapple and you leave just the rinds, yeah. you put them in like something that's a neutral scent and you smell it. That's like just have. before fruit, fruit flies start to dominate, right? <laughs> so yeah, you don't want any help. Right. No. Put it all up in your nose. Yeah, and then you got to like pull them all out. That's and tweezers and Disgusting. Yeah, and they're climbing back in. Uh, that's the, that's the, yeah, that's the smell <laughs> That I would, I would. Jen is shaking her head right now. I would go with like a sweeter smell of of the of the actual rind, as opposed to taking pineapple flesh, mashing it up and smelling it. It's gonna smell like pineapple juice. Yeah, absolutely. Pineapple juice and pineapple rind don't smell the same. Yeah, well, different, different. It's just animals. a darker smell. If darker smells. It's like zesting an orange versus squeezing it. Exactly. It's, it's not, two it's not separate. The same or right. Yeah. No. I agree. One hundred and fifty-seven percent. I raise you two percent. Go one fifty nine. One fifty nine. So that's it. We got to, we got some shout outs to do because this is part of the original episodes. Um, also, while you're uh, searching up the shout outs, let me also say uh, support the show. Go to patreoncom cmc mm -hmm. Hook some brothers up. Yes, uh, David oh. Rugiri was a new Patreon subscriber this oh. this month, so you can go check out our Thank Patreon. You. you can see all the different people. We'll go through. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start shouting out the Patreon people just at the beginning of episodes. Just like, this episode's thanks to, and we're going to pick a name. Okay. Just because it, 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 it people are spending money on our show. We might as well give them credit. I don't have end credit rolling. Great. So we just yeah. do it right in the middle of the show, like right in the start. Yeah. Boom. 
Makes sense. We have a producer's list. I, I, I yeah. No. no, I, I was thinking. What do you think about it? No, yeah. I, I, I thought about it. So thank you, David. Also, go to uh, everydaydrinkers.com slash newsletter, sign up for the newsletter that Derek puts out. Puts a little bit of work into it, and it comes out pretty good. And uh, if you want to submit a recipe, you submit it to recipe at everydaydrinkers.com. Chad Weiss. In German, right. how would you say that? Weiss. Weiss. But, but there's no Z in the German. Yeah. It's like they wanted to be German, and they wanted to give and you that. And he's from perception. Kansas. So from Kansas in the probably, United States. Yeah. Very, very, tons of German people in Kansas. Germans moved to the Midwest. Do they? No. I think there was a big migration. It was in general, but I don't know yeah. if there was a bunch of Germans in there. Oh, I believe there was. Um, I'll <laughs> go with that. Uh, Brent Hewitt from Michigan. Thank you very much. I recognize that name. Thank you very much. I recognize a lot of these names. Mm -hmm. Especially like David one. Hartwell yeah, from nice. Ohio, who's um, wasn't David from around this area? We did when we did our fan appreciation. We had a whole story for a lot of these yeah. folks. Uh, who's next? This is gonna sound weird, but Uncle Andy, not my uncle, <laughs> from Austria. Uncle Andy from Austria. Uncle Andy from uncle, Austria. Uncle Andy. Uh, Samuel Shepherdson from S A Australia. Where's S A? South Southern Australia. Would they really call it SA? I think that's one of the territories because there's like Western Australia. Really? You guys couldn't come up with better names? You'd think. Well, it's a penal colony, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not their fault. <laughs> uh, Darren from New Jersey. Hey, Darren. Thanks for filling out the survey. The, from the Dirty some, uh, Jurors. <laughs> it's from the Dirty Jurors? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dirty Darren from the well, Dirty Jurors. Not all of Jersey is the Jersey Shore. I will, I will say that in his Have defense. Have you been to Newark? No, there's nothing there. But it's not the shore. Uh, Chad no. is German. FYI. Oh, Chad well, is go. German, but he's from Kansas. I knew it was a German name, damn it. Well, there you go, Chad, from German, Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> you're uh, German and you're not from, I mean, you're, you're from, from New, New Hampshire. Hampshire which yeah, is, but my family uh, kind of came out of Pennsylvania and there were Germans there. This comes from They were called New the Dutch. Like, How do you know where his family came from? Right. Bigot. Yeah. I don't think that makes me a bigot. <laughs> <laughs> I Racist. think that might be the wrong word. In, in German isn't a race, right? No, it's a nationality. It is. It's a different checkbox on the little card when you come into the country. They don't actually ask you that. Nationalist. <laughs> That's well, better. We're done. Thanks for the memories. What did you use that drink? Who are you using it from? We got a plantation, we got plantation barbados. 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 Why did you know I was going to say that? Because I looked at the thing. I'm like, oh, Everybody that looks like the guy from Scrooge. Looks like that from Scrooge. Yeah. So he didn't get your reference. He just was in sync with you mentally. You, are you guys well, in the same menstrual cycle too? Well, some <laughs> We have been. I believe.